What is up guys, it's Mikey Tamemo here and once again welcome to my YouTube channel and once again indeed welcome to the playthrough of Gothic 3 Beliar, the servant of the Hashishin Dark Mage, however you want to call it. In this particular episode we're gonna go to well gonna complete our idea, you know, talking with the NPCs and whatnot, and then we're gonna set off to uh Reddick and uh, continue the journey towards the utter power of Baliar. So without further ado guys, let's continue. What has Zardis got to do with the orcs? What's wrong with you? Haven't you been here these last few weeks? Zardis is the leader of the orcs. He betrayed us. What else do you know about Zardis? He destroyed the rune magic, that filthy swine. Deprived of their magic, paladins and fire mages never stood a chance against the hordes of orcs. Now I do have more ram, so... I have upgraded my ram from 4 gigabytes of ram to 16. So I should be able... Uh, or not. Everything is apparently already on high. Except for color grading. Let's turn that one on as well. Yeah, I have to do a redo the conversation a bit, but I'll skip that conversation of the part that I already had. But uh, let's see how the game runs on everything maxed the fuck out. Am I allowed to say fuck? I'm not quite sure. It's not really, you know proper word to use, but uh... Words don't hurt, I suppose. Well, at least it's, it's supposed to be. So everything was apparently already on max. Which was, uh, you know, caught me a bit by surprise. But uh, it, it's alright, you know. My RAM has indeed upgraded, but uh... I had some new issues when it comes to, you know, uh, freezing, um, idle mode, when, it, when my PC is literally doing nothing, except, you know, nothing on in the background, except for maybe, you know, Steam and, uh, and uh, you know, OBS, perhaps, um, well, OBS only on when I record, but when, when it comes to idle mode, you guys must know <coughs> the meaning of idle mode, I don't have to explain that. You know, my PC gets to about 60 to 70 degrees according to Specky, but 20 to 30 degrees according to my AMD overdrive, you know, um, temperature checkup, um, which is a bit weird, especially due to the fact I'm, you know, my PC is AMD Radeon, um, so I suppose I must trust AMD overdrive, although, in the last couple of times when I tried to continue with Risen 2, Gothic 3, uh, Gothic 3 Forsaken Gods, Skyrim, The Last Remnant, and a couple of other games, the, you know, the PC eventually freezes slash crashes. Now this was during a massive heat wave, so it could be that that was the problem, but I'm still a bit concerned about the fact that Specky, you know, says that my PC in idle mode is about 50, to about 70 degrees, it, you know, goes down, up, up and down, all the time, um, and about 70, well, let's say 71 to about 90 degrees with game, but according to my AMD overdrive, it's about 30 without and about 50 with, so it's really, really confusing on, you know, which one should I trust, but uh, let's continue nevertheless. If it freezes, then I have to redo this particular episode. I doubt it though, but uh, you never know. What's in Reddick? The rebel camp. It's in the middle of the forest, where the wolves are. I can handle wolves. Yes, but those beasts are awfully aggressive, and you won't be able to find it by yourself. I think your buddy Gorn knows where it is. You should go talk to him. What should I tell the rebels? Tell their leaders to send us fighters. We don't stand a chance by ourselves. Now we're also in it up to our necks. Yeah, that's one way to put it. <laughs> a 
Another fine mess we've got ourselves into. What happened here? Quite obviously, the orcs have won their war against King Robar. And now the orcs are sweeping through the land, enslaving the humans. But most of all, I would like to know what happened to Lester. Oh, I'll figure out Lester. Just like old times, huh? The orcs weren't all that strong. There must be other tougher ones. What about Lester? Wasn't he going to get some reinforcements? Or so you say. I can't help it. I don't like orcs. What's going on with Lester? He was going to get reinforcements. My runes have lost their power. I don't think it's any different for the other fire mages. I'm going to set out and try to learn the ancient true magic. What are you talking about? Before there were runes, only a very few, very powerful people could do magic. That knowledge must be found somewhere. I will seek it. Good luck. Thanks. We'll meet again. I'm sure that we do. Alright, so let's get this Lester guy. Now do bear with me, you know it's the third time that I'm playing this game, so... You know, it's getting uh... Relatively annoying in one way. But uh, the reason why I'm decided to uh... You know... You could say redo Gotha 3. Bad news! There will be no reinforcements! So I noticed. What happened? Go look for the ship. You're not gonna find it. What? Pirates! It was all over in a moment. And what about our equipment? What do you think? We'll have to get some new stuff. Talk to Diego. He knows a lot about acquiring things. What are you going to do now? I'm gonna try and make it to the south somehow. But we'll meet again, surely. I should think so. Now... When it comes to the playthroughs, you know, the differences between the playthroughs, as a servant of Adenor's, I first, you know, human orc mercenary, I first cleared the entire uh, Murtana in the name of the orcs, as a servant of Enos, I first cleared Murtana in the name of the rebels. This time I will go to Ardea, Cape Dun, Montera, Trellis, and then from Trellis I will instantly go to Gotha. Um, to Gotha, to Braga, and etc. Before I will continue to Geldern, Sildern, Gotha, Faring, Vanguard, you know. So that, you know, it's creating a bit of uniqueness before I, you know, well, it's really hard to explain, but it's gonna create a bit of uniqueness between the three pals, you know. One, the servant of Adenor, Adenor's conquered everything in the name of Adenors and the Orcs, you know, since humans and Orcs are both creatures of Adenors, same as with blood flies, etc, lurkers and whatnot, but as son of Adenors I decided to, you know, go through Mirtana and, you know, gain reputation with the Orcs as a servant of, re of the Enos, aka the rebels, I you know, did every city as efficiently as possible within Mertana in the name of the rebels. Now this guy is not gonna join the human orc mercenaries, nor will he join the, um, you know, servants of Enos, aka the rebels. This guy will go ASAP to the desert in order to gain high access with the Hashishin, you know. Because uh, the reputation with the Hashishin is going to be my main concern, if you will. But I'm talking too much again, so let me loot this area here, and then we're going to go back to Reddick. Go, well, to Idea, and then go to Reddick with Gorn. Complete as much of the quests as I possibly can in Reddick, before we're going to set out to Cape Dun. surprised you know that uh, even with 16 gigabytes of RAM it lags here and there but then again all the settings are on maxed out well that shouldn't be too much of a problem
What's up? Pirates. Those rotten bastards made off with our treasure. Looks like it. We'll have to deal with that later, I'm afraid. You see, we have a problem. What problem? Go talk to the village elder. I had a talk with the village elder. So, what do you suggest? First, we need to get an overview of the mess the orcs have been making. And one of us must find out where Zardas is hiding. The necromancer has absorbed the power of Beliar within himself. And he is master of the orcs. I think you'd better take care of Zardas. And where will we get new equipment now? But you know how this works. Collect whatever you can find. And don't let anyone take it from you. And since the orcs are now the rulers of Mertana, we will get some fine equipment from them. What are you going to do now? You know me. I'll be wherever there's something to be had. Matena is now orc territory. But kissing up to orcs just isn't my thing. I will go south. I bet there are some opportunities left in the vastness of the desert. You can set out with Gorn. Very well. Let's go, Gorn. What are you going to do now? I will go search for the rebels. I bet they're not all dead yet. Show me where the rebels are hiding. It's not far from here. Follow me. Right after you, sir. Another one of those beasts. <sighs> Well, that takes care of that. Sure does. Another one of those beasts. <laughs> You showed him there. So much for you, filthy beast. Yeah, that's one way to build it. See? Here they are. I knew it. I really hope the orcs never find this hideout. I'll stay here for a while, and then be on my way. Hang in there. See you around. See you around, sir.
Right, so let's go into this egg cave, <coughs> which will lead us to the inner cave of Radic. Broken. Now there will be about two, I think, two or three more lizards and about five goblins before we will uh, reach Reddick.
Holy shit, the damage. the last one Man, this, these are uh, little gobos are pretty, pretty strong. You know what the bullshit part is? I get knocked back, but the enemy never does. One gobo. Also known as a goblin. You know, I always call them gobos, but... I don't suppose. Nope, I need to cross both for that one. Hmm. Alright, so that's uh, the cave area. If I were you, I wouldn't venture too far into this cave system. What's your job? I'm on guard duty. I'm watching the southern exit of Reddick. In my spare time, I train in the arena for the real thing. What's wrong with these caves? We haven't completely explored them yet. There's supposed to be another exit somewhere to the east. Unfortunately, 
the eastern caves are teeming with beasts. Is this a former mine by any chance? It's possible. But if that is the case, then nothing has been mined here for years. We found these caves the way they are now. We just had to clean them of some cave beasts. Reddick's southern exit is clear. You mean the beasts are gone? Incredible! This will make my guard duty by the southern exit much more relaxed. Thanks. That's worth a few gold coins to me. You're welcome, Joey. Show me your goods. Alright, so let's sell some of this junk. Thank you, sir. Hey, you look like you could take a beating or two. What about a little fight in the arena? You want to go up against me? <laughs> well, not really. You're among friends here. We humans must stick together against the orcs. I need some training. You look like you might be an equal opponent. Let Norris explain the arena fighting rules to you, and then let the fun begin. Like I said, the uh, arena part will be one of the things that I will do later on, as soon as I have learned the art of uh, fighting with dual one-handed swords, which I will learn in the desert. So then we're gonna, that's going to take time, a bit of time, you know, but uh, in the end, everything will be done but uh, I think I'm gonna do all the arena um, parts within the game in one single video in, uh, instead of uh, spreading them you know you're new here aren't you many refugees have joined us in Reddick lately but your face isn't familiar are you in charge here I'm the most experienced man here when it comes to fighting orcs I guess that would make me something like a leader of this rebel camp. You're wearing a paladin's armor. I used to be a paladin before the orcs won the war for themselves. I fought for the king in the last battle for Vengard, the capital. Now I'm just a refugee, just like everybody else here. Tell me more about the war. There isn't much to say about that, my friend. Once we paladins lost our magic and ran out of magic ore, we didn't stand a chance. We ended up being easy prey for the orcs. I need weapons. So do we. Unfortunately, there is one small problem with that. Our last smith died in combat. Since then, our smithy has been abandoned. If you know somebody who could take his place, send him to us. How can I support you? There are many possibilities for furthering our cause. Just walk around here and ask the people in the camp. We need to prepare for the revolution in Cape Dunn. What do you know about Zardis? No more than everyone else does. He's in cahoots with the orcs, or so they say. If you want to find out more, try their shaman. The only problem is getting them to talk to a human in the first place. We drove the orcs out of Ardea. So we owe this to you. Well done. Our people will take care of things from now on. I have other tasks for you if you want to help us. Explain this revolution thing to me. The cities of Mertana are ruled by orcs, but some of us rebels are lying low within the cities. When the time comes, 
The rebels will mobilize both slaves and free humans for the revolution. You must find these undercover rebels and follow their orders if you want to support us. Who is this undercover rebel in Cape Dunn? He's moving among the slaves in Cape Dunn so he won't be recognized. I hope they haven't found him out yet. I will not tell you who it is. I don't know you well enough for that. But if you can gain his trust, tell him that Javier sent you to support him. Oh, but of course. Ah, a new man. What are you doing here? I'm taking care of our forces in Redduck. We keep training and trying to prepare as best we can for a battle with the orcs. The closed-off area over there is our training arena. You fight against each other in your arena? That's the best training there is. Unfortunately, the orcs agree completely. They have an arena of their own in almost every city. They value a fighter who wins arena battles very highly. How exactly does the arena work? You challenge someone to fight and meet him in the arena. As soon as you enter the arena, it starts. Is that all? Not quite. There are two rules. First, anyone who leaves the arena in the middle of a fight loses. Second, when one of the fighters is on the ground and doesn't get back up, the fight is over. If you kick someone who's down or kill your opponent, you will be called to account by everyone. I see. Now we're not gonna learn how to fight yet, at least not yet. The first thing I must learn is ancient knowledge. And thus learn quickly. Now what learn quickly does is nothing more than allowing you to gain one learning point extra of each level. So the sooner that you train it and get it, the sooner and the faster you will get more learning points. Now if you have, you know, five levels, then five learning points are going to be meaningless, especially with height, um, with height power, I wanted to say, with um, alternative IE. <coughs> but uh, if you train it relatively quickly, then you can get quite a bit of free learning points oh, man. What do you want? Oh, man. What do you want? Stop! Some valuable things have gone missing here. Do you know anything about that? No. We're watching you. Welcome, stranger. What can I do for you? Do you need food, clothes, or maybe a hefty swig from the bottle? Marla will sell you everything you need here on the coast. Who are you? I am Marlo. I am the best merchant on the coast from Ardea all the way to Cape Dunn. What interests me most are valuable items. Items such as silver, gold, and jewels. I take everything. I bet you do. What do you do with the junk? I know ways to convert the stuff into shiny coins, and we need them. So you're supporting a good cause when you bring me the stuff. Where do you get your goods? We have people in the cities who take care of our supplies. Once you have brought us a few valuables, they will let you know who they are. Show me your goods. Now, bison skins are quest related. I don't need those. Um, they are quest related when it comes to Nordmar. So if you get them, keep about 20 to about 30. 30 should be more than enough um, in order for you to complete that particular quest. Um, when it comes to hammers, you need 10 of them in total. You can't really use a hammer for selfish purposes use so 10 is the maximum that you need shovels are you know 
insignificant. The only shovel that you need is for yourself. Smith's hammer are relatively worthless. Now, when it comes to Vanguard Capital, there are three items which are very hard to get if you do not know it from the early get-go. You know, which is uh, ten hammers, twenty pickaxes, and five swords. I think it was. Um, so you will need a total of 21 pickaxes, 20 for vanguard, 1 for yourself, 10 hammers and ten, uh, 5 swords, which you will need for um, a quest in Reddick, um, in Reddick, in uh, vanguard, the capital. Now the reason I'm taking a pan is so that I can fry meat whenever I have to. It's not really that you need it, but... Here it says something about alchemy. Oh shit. I need healing plants for this particular guy. I effed it up. Oh well. What? Oh, yes. I, uh, I am a bit jumpy. I'm sorry. What can I do for you? Who are you? My name is Sebastian. I am the alchemist here in Redock. You wear the clothes of a fire mage. Before the war, I was a high mage of the fire. Then came the day when we fire mages lost our rune magic. And soon after that, the war was over. The robe is all I have left of my rank. Why did you fire mages lose your magic? I have spent many sleepless nights trying to answer that question. All I know is that we could no longer hold off the orcs without our rune magic. Many fire mages were killed, and those that survived the debacle fled to the woods. What will you do now? I will stay here in Redduck and study the ancient writings of our ancestors. Legend has it that the ancient ones possessed their own kind of magic. It was completely independent of aids such as the runes, from which we draw our magic. Tell me more about the magic of the Ancient Ones. All that is certain is that the Ancient Ones existed and that their artifacts can be found everywhere in the ruins. Even today, the only way to learn more about their magic is to unravel the mystery of those ruins. All the surviving fire mages are researching the ancient knowledge. Tell me something about alchemy. It is the only way of healing and strengthening yourself. Without magic, I am no expert. But my abilities are enough to supply Red Ark with what is absolutely necessary. Tell me more about the artifacts of the Ancient Ones. The Orcs are obsessed with searching for these valuable relics. Every dealer in the land knows that, and will offer you a correspondingly high price. Many artifacts are of great value to us mages as well, such as the fire chalices, for example. What is so special about the fire chalices? The fire chalices are ancient, and were thought to have been lost for many years. It is said that they possess powerful magical capabilities. But I am no expert. If you should find a fire chalice, take it to my brethren in Nordmar. They will be able to tell you more about it than I can. Teach me what you know about alchemy. I would gladly do that. But unfortunately, I don't have enough ingredients to teach you. If you can get me ten healing plants, I will share my knowledge with you. I'll get you some healing plants. These plants grow almost everywhere. I don't think you will have a problem finding them. Show me your goods. How many plants do I have? Since I made potions out of them. Uh, none. Literally none. 
Okay, so <laughs> I fucked that one up. Oh well. I need to, you know, deliver those plants if I want to learn ancient magic, which I have to do in order to learn learn quickly. Alright, so let's quickly talk with this guy over here, and one of the guys that's sleeping, he will give us uh, two more quests, or three, depends on how you look at it, and uh, then I will continue searching for some plants, kill some orcs, and uh, go into the next episode. Be very careful when roaming through the woods here. Orc scouts are everywhere in this region. Tell me more about this place. This is the largest rebel camp on the coast. We call it Redok. Many royalists who haven't yet been enslaved by the orcs are hiding here. I really hope for your sake that you aren't a spy for the orcs. Or we'll make short work of you. I see. The orcs don't know about this rebel camp? If the orcs knew we were hiding out here, they would have certainly killed us by now. Tell me more about the rebels. We are the only free humans in Mertana who are still fighting the orcs. Orc patrols are our biggest problem here on the coast. Last night, they came dangerously close. Where are the orc patrols now? One orc patrol is constantly on the move. Right now, they are between us and Ardea. Another has parked itself on a farm to the east, between here and Cape Dun. If we don't take care of them now, they will stumble upon Redek sooner or later. What about the humans working for the orcs? Most of them are slaves, but there are some human orc mercenaries as well. Within certain limits, they are allowed to move freely among the orcs. I can only hope you're not going to mingle with them. Why should I avoid the orc mercenaries? People who team up with the enemy are the enemy. The path of the orc mercenary is the easy way, with no freedom and against Enos, our god. I will go visit the orc patrol on the farm. Be careful. If they take you for a rebel, they will chop you to pieces. I'll take care of the roaming orc patrol. Do that. But be careful so they don't find our camp here. Show me your goods. Alright, um, let me see what I can sell. I will keep the quarter staff for now since the damage is a bit more than my blade as well as the fact that uh, I will build mage-ish, you know, so the staff is always nice Alright, so give me your leather garb and the helmet. And at least I have some defense. Alright, so uh, let's go into part 2 guys. So thank you guys for watching and if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button. And uh, I hope to see you guys in part 2 where we're gonna go to, you know, talk with uh, one of the sleeping guys over here will have a quest for us to kill some boars and uh, I will also take care of the roaming orc patrols and as well as the orc patrol on the farm and uh, get the smith to Redick even though I'm not gonna join them I still make the connections 
Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys in part two of this particular episode. And uh, I hope to see you guys in any of my future videos. If you want a different path, whether it's, uh, let's say, the human orc mercenaries or the rebels, make sure to check out my YouTube channel and their playlists. It will uh, guide you to whether it's Gothic 1 playthrough of Adenor's, Gothic 2, Gothic 3, etc. You know, all of them will be find findable through the playlists as well as through the individual videos in itself. But uh, if you want a different path, the other two paths are available as well on my YouTube channel. So should you look for them, check out my YouTube channel and make sure to leave behind a like because 100 likes will be a hardcore run of gothic going full build depending on you know how full I can actually go um, because uh, you know certain Enos magic spells will only be obtainable if you activate the Enos shrine and that means that I cannot activate the Balear shrine etc you know so um, what full build will be in a hardcore run remains to be seen but um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys in part 2 of this episode, where we're gonna finish the questing of Reddick when it comes to the plants, the boars, the orcs, as well as the smith. And, uh, and then we will go to the next episode, where we, you know, where we will go to Cape Dunn and uh, do the quest there. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys in part 2 of this episode.